We now transition to mixed martial arts in the UFC, and we welcome in James Lynch into the program. James Lynch, coveted MMA journalist, and great also at communicating via Twitter direct message. Uh, James, thank you for joining us, really appreciate it. Let's just break down everything that occurred. And for everyone that is watching, uh, if you did not see it, somehow not seeing it, here's just a quick snippet and then we'll react. <laughs> was Habib Nurmagomedov going into, well, actually outside of the cage, attacking Dylan Dennis, uh, Conor McGregor's jiu-jitsu coach, and then many of Team Nurmagomedov invading the cage and going and attacking Conor McGregor. There is one video, James, that shows, and many people are on the opposite side of Conor McGregor, saying that he attacked a member of Nurmagomedov's team first. However, as it is spot shadowed, in my opinion, James, then I want to ask you this, or have you react to this. Isn't this Conor McGregor just trying to hold off the stampede of Team Nurmagomedov? Absolutely. When you have fighters coming into the cage, I mean, it's fair game at this point because you don't know what's going to happen. You got to defend yourselves. And I, I think people are really losing focus of this in, in terms of what happened. None of this happens if Habib Nurmagomedov does not leave that cage. That's what started everything. And then you have this onslaught of people coming into the cage, and it's just a complete melee, uh, you know, shades of, uh, you know, strike force, uh, you know, years ago in MMA when the Diaz brothers got into it with Jason Mayhem Miller. So it was just a really unfortunate night uh, just with what happened. Um, you know, the, the card itself was amazing. And now we're talking about this brawl, but uh, it'll be interesting to see what the, the ruling is with the Athletic Commission with Habib Nuragomedov winning the title. As, as of right now, what we're hearing is the purse is still being held for Habib at this point, so we'll see how that unfolds. But I think the thing we can't lose focus of is this whole thing started when Habib Nuragomedov jumped out of the cage. Yes, very much so. And that's the most important point that I think a lot of people are losing sight of, is that if he doesn't jump out of the cage, none of this occurs. Yet, in my opinion, from what we've seen, is that many fighters try to hype up their own fight. They are their own promoters. Did Conor McGregor cross a line that he hasn't, that he's crossed previously in promoting his own fights? In my opinion, yes, absolutely. He has continued, excuse me, let me rephrase. He has continually crossed his own line to sell his own fight. And yet there's just never been this provocation of, well, this is Conor's fault because Conor went after his religion, his ethnicity, where he's from. If anybody's paid attention to the fight game, whether it's Don King promoting Mike Tyson, or even further with Jack Johnson fighting and boxing uh, some of the quote unquote great white hopes, there are no rules in a promotion. So all of this, let's limit what the fighters are able to say and not say. Isn't that just at this point amateur to state that? Yeah, it is, and and I, I felt the UFC here a little bit because when Dana White was asked about you know what had happened and, and with the brawl and what's going to happen going forward, he basically threw it on the commission. And I understand they need to get through their process, but at some point they have to regulate these things. And and like you mentioned there with McGregor, he's gotten away with a lot of things. We we wouldn't have had the bus attack if there were you know serious right. threats put in place that if you harm other fighters outside the cage, you're going to be suspended for a long period of time. That didn't happen. I mean that bus attack happened in April. They even used the footage to show right. in the, the lead up to this fight. So I think when you have this sort of wild, wild west mentality with when it comes to promoting fights, things like this are going to happen, unfortunately. And it's uh, it's such a bummer, like I said, because this card was great. This was probably the card of the year. If you go back and watch all the fights, and we're not talking about that. We're talking about this brawl. And Habib really had a good moment here where he could have buried the hatchet with McGregor and everything else. But it went the complete opposite direction. I have to go on the record saying I respect the hell out of Dana White's business acumen. I do not believe that we should then dip into our toes into the morality business. 
because <laughs> none of this depended on was dependent upon morality. Out of anything, what they've done now is in the lead up to the next fight, because it will happen, it's not gonna happen immediately, but it absolutely will happen. He has two more rematches if he wants it, Conor McGregor that is, with Habib and Nate Diaz three, the trilogy. What they will do for this next promotion and promotional tour is first there was the bus attack. <laughs> then they went out of the octagon. And now Conor McGregor fights Habib Nurmagomedov on blah, 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 pay-per-view, $1 million in order to buy it. Like, we, we all know that this is going to occur, right? Like, this is only good for the UFC business, James. I, I agree. I just hope it doesn't have, happen next. I know some people will get upset with that, but the reality is Conor McGregor got completely dominated in this fight. I mean, there were not moments in this fight where you felt like Habib Nurmagomedov was in danger. And I know there's an entertainment as aspect of the sport. I'd be you know, putting my blinders on if I didn't think otherwise. But I think there's a guy in the co-main event in Tony Ferguson who deserves this Habib fight first. Do the Conor rematch later down the line. I, like you said, it's going to happen. It's only a matter of time. I don't want to see it next. we got to give some breathing room on this whole situation. And we also have to see what happens with Habib. Is he going to get suspended? Suspended. What's happening with the commission? We'll see. I mean, typically, if we're looking at the past, usually these guys just get a slap on the wrist. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I just, I'm not a fan of seeing this rematch right away. I think if they do it, they got to do it down the line and uh, let this sort of simmer out a little bit. If you made it to the end of this video, Mazel Tov. If you want to see more, hit the bell and hit subscribe. Why don't you?